Hi, and welcome to this uh, live stream on Web Piano Academy. Today, I have as a guest uh, a pianist from Peru, Jose Marcos Gamarra. He's a pianist, piano teacher, composer, and psychologist. Hi, Jose. Tell us about uh, uh, yourself a little bit, who you are and what you do. Hello, Antonella. Thank you very much for the invitation to the Web Piano Academy. To start with, my name is Jose Marcos Amarra. I am a Peruvian and 47 years old. I dedicate uh, my life to music and psychology for many times. Being music, the career I most enjoy, I am aware as well as you are, that these things are connected in a very special way. Psychology, music, and the musical composition, all of them associated with the following. Music, the universal language of excellence, can be understood by all, regardless of native tongue, religion, or maybe political orientation. Like all language, they have elements, rules, and content that need to be arrangement for their interpretation. Music, first and foremost, need to be expressive in order to be heard and given its wide characteristic. It needs to be bright in a recorder for its preservation. It is this point where composition is born. Writing music on paper or through a YouTube program giving us the certainty that it can be decoded posteriorly, but an interpreter who knows the graph and symbols. I must mention that is one of the most dignified and patient works within the art, musical interpretation. The art of playing an instrument is, evidently, much more elaborate than listening to a melody and listening to be a music. If you were talking about composition, another point you have mentioned, the create process has gone through stage leading to convert thinking as a pillar to make effective the miracle of creation. Thereafter, the performer will be the musical channel through which the music will unfold before the public. In regards to the third theme, psychology, I believe that I can help the interpreter as much as the listener to understand the musical message further. Each musical piece offers us an alternative story that will impact each individual differently. The individual and irreplaceable person universe within each person are inherent characteristics former through unique life context. Thanks our subjective uh, music will always be able to touch us in a very special and intimate way. Finally, I must point out uh, that this relationship between the music and listening requires an open mind for the message to penetrate consensus naturally. Perhaps we tipped this point, teacher and psychology alike have an important roles as communicators and orienters within the teaching process in the community in general. I read in your bio that uh, your musical interests uh, started when you were very young. How did you decide to start playing the piano? It is a very interesting question because in my environment, living exclusively from art does so sustain sustain me, economically speaking. I always remember my first moment in front of a keyboard at the age of six, playing with a note, a hand, a melody of fear release or uh, maybe uh, some popular song from my country. 
uh, I am a firm believer that every rewarding activity in childhood is uh, unconsciously uh, tried to be recreated later in a more advanced stage of life. By this I mean that we all seek to be happy in a similar way as when we were children. Only this time, with uh, ordinary activity, with objectives and responsibility, uh, monetary rewards and learning that encourage you to be bitter and rich, fulfillment. I had a starter in 1986 at the Peruvian Music Conservatory in 1994. After years of study and analysis of my musical career, I came to the conclusion that I needed another profession uh, to be able to complement my human formation. So I decided to study psychology because it is related to music, as I have previously expressed, because of it humanistic and logical character that tries to explain the different process and events that occur in people's behavior. My studies in psychology came after having complemented my piano studies at uh, the National Conservatory in my country, and the original idea was to dedicate myself to psychology and live as a psychologist given the reality in my country as previously stated. But life gives you what you need and not what you want many times. The opportunity always presented itself to show that I could play the piano whether uh, it was a family or friends catering. I must mention with nostalgia one of the most many piano recitals that I gave in the 19th but this time at my university psychology department for a creative workshop that I gave at the university where I study. I decided that year to formally begin my teaching in IB schools, International Baccalaureate, an activity that I career out until 1919, until before the global pandemic. Within my, within my activity as a teacher, I have always been able to offer, through the beginning of classes, musical examples, breakpoints, or, or simple sound models, a piano performance with works by Bach, Mozart, Beethoven, uh, Chopin, but also works of my own authorship. However, within my performance facet attendance, at different festivals in Eastern Europe and participation in the World Orchestra format at festivals in Hungary are what have given the most satisfaction in my musical career. And so you have had amazing teachers throughout your career and your studies. How did they influence you as a pianist, as a teacher and as a human being? The influence that I have been able to recite throughout my life are basically two dimensions, the pedagogical and the interpretive. The first is closely related to my first piano teachers, Rafael Prieto and Gerardo Constantin. They were the ones who, in their classes, showed me not only the musical methods, but their way of working and carrying them out. In those years, I got to know the methods of Bayer, Thompson, Schmidt, Hannon, as uh, the first albums for pianists, such as the books by Anna McLean Bach, the Schumann, the Jude album, the Tchaikovsky album, Burmuller Easy Studies, the studies by, by Cherny, Sonatinas, by Clementi, Kulau. It could be said that the first stage as a teacher in the 90s, I tried to recreate the learning process that I had known. That 
in each student I could find some difference in the terms of learning time, assimilation of knowledge and tasted towards the musical pieces being taught. It wasn't until I studied psychology that I realized how a person works at a cognitive and emotional level and how music can impact them. Mm. Their behavior has been to shape some traits in their personality. I am happy to know that in each class, in, a, in a, each new class, an opportunity for learning process is born. The interpretation then uh, was first related to my teacher Gerardo Constantini, with whom I had private lesson at the National Conservatory of Peru. I consider this moment is um, a second stage in my piano study. For me, it was extremely important to have a current teacher immersed in their artistic scene. The model that was generated was very strong because the dynamic that is handled in the classes is different due to the very experience in the piano recital that, in the long run, will seek not only to show the work before a jury in the conservatory, but to go for more. That is, to seek to expose your work in a room full of spectators, how to handle that situation and how to prepare for that moment as well as the appropriate choice of the work you have studied to put together as a repertoire can only to give to you by someone who has or has had the experience of stepping on a musical stage. I know you studied psychology as well. How do you think psychology has changed your approach to teaching? Well, psychology definitely helps to understand the people. Piano classes are structured by learning sessions where the contents are given in ascending order, inducing an internalized knowledge with a method, with a methodology. All this is a plain talking in or account individual difference and how specific it can be to know each person. For this, it is important to have the time to get to know the type of a student, their way of being, their personality and their learning style. For this, there are musical strategies and activities that allow me to get to know my piano, theory or composition student, respect for the personal and emotional universe of each artist in training is important. The way of being of each student should not be modified. Activities that form the habit and behavior necessary to achieve the required musical objectives must be provided. The more fact of obtaining an achievement and objectively recognized that it could be done with a series of approaches that are not random are enough for the student to internalize the behavioral habit necessary to reach the next level. Here is the behavior modification that is necessary, but in an ideal way. Knowledge should be provided trying to the empathic always seeking the student progress in the most appropriate and the correct way. Now, what are the important points you teach to your piano students? Uh, do you follow a sort of roadmap? Uh, and how are your lessons structured? So if I would come to you to learn how to play the piano, how would you start teaching me? The first thing is to understand that all knowledge must be exposed in a docent way. For example, if I want to teach you to play piano, first I can briefly explain theoretically 
that there are silent sounds, but we will only read and play five sounds on the piano keyboard. The musical pentachord is ideal because we have five fingers on the hand and because the different ascending and descending combinations allow us to hear, see, analyze and highlight the different moments of the music parallel, positive and oblique. With these five sounds, I teach a basic repertoire of 10 songs in a key of C major with the aforementioned movement characters. In these songs, the relationship between two extremely important tonal functions that will build this side in understanding music in general can be evidential. The tonic and the dominant, rest and tension. Something that is very interesting on a psychology level, science human life always go through raw moments that can be associated with these two tonal functions. We then see how the mechanical part is developed by the different combination of movements and the theoretical knowledge does it in each work. In this way, the mind has a great opportunity to retain knowledge and to be able to use it successfully in other stages. After the works in C major, I continue with another 10 works, but in the key of G major, and then another 10 in F major. Approach to works that contain 6, 7 and 8 within their melody until they arrive naturally. It is at this point that I can start working with the methods mentioned above on the Margana Bach, a Schumann Jod album. After that come the works of ascending in and descending scale, but the works tell self as uh, in the Sonatinas of Clementi or Kula. Uh, in an orderly manner, we create a repertoire based on Baroque, classic and romantic works without leaving sight popular song because incident music is sometimes uh, required in my classes. I am the play convincing that this does the approach in of positive impact for the student, not to feel over helmet by the information. Of course, if I perceive greater progress and understand, the process can be accelerated. No everyone is the same when it comes to assimilation information. What do you expect from your students? I hope above all that they are happy doing what they do. This is the most important thing in all human activity from my point of view love what you do. If you love what you do, therefore it's less. You enjoy every moment of your activity and the result of your work, whether it is a musical work, a class thought or assimilated knowledge. As I said before, one looks for those moments in which one was happy as a child and as an adult one seeks first unconsciously and then consciously to have that happiness either out of nostalgia or to maintain the, a state that is satisfactory. In think titles, master degrees, doctorates, recitals, concerts are important, but before all that, it's important to be happy. I believe that if you are happy and love what you do, all the certifications, the results will come as a direct consequence of your happiness and work. And as a final thought, uh, I think uh, music is more important to the human society than uh, what the majority of people believe. What would you wish for the future? Like all artists, we must hope for the best, but not in a messianic way, but working from our activity 
and changing personal realities. For example, with your musical work, you offer a space that connects like-minded people with music through knowledge, tutorials, life stories, musical news. In short, you provide a purpose to continue to keep going. That is extremely important for my work. I do the same in my environment. We can save the whole world, but I believe the, the sum of individual efforts makes a difference. I believe the, the this sense of being human is to connect, to associate, and if this sense occurs with something beautiful like art, we are very well connected. I have a phrase, only art can save humanity. I deeply appreciate the interview and the opportunity to make my work now. Thank you very much. Jose for being uh, with us today in this live stream on Web Piano Academy. I will post a link uh, to your website uh, in the description below and uh, please if you watch the video up to now don't forget to subscribe to this channel to receive uh, more of this uh, amazing content and to support me as a creator. Thank you, bye!